guess. So today I'm doing another tutorial and this one's more fun, colorful, vibrant um, because it's kind of a Gryffindor inspired look from Harry Potter. The seventh movie is coming out soon and I'm actually going to the midnight premiere with my friends so I'm super excited for that and that's in like a week from yesterday. Um, yeah, because today's a Saturday. I don't know when I'm going to uh, when I'll get this up, hopefully today. But anyway, yeah, I'm really excited, and so I wanted to do this look for you guys because it was kind of fun, and maybe if you guys are going to see the movie or if you are going to the midnight premiere, um, you can wear this look. I'm definitely going to be sporting the Hufflepuff version of this look because I don't know about you guys, but Hufflepuff is definitely my homies. They have a spot right here. Obsessed! But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial, and I'm just going to get on with it and stop rambling, so... Oh my god, my camera is having like an autofocus battle. This is really intense. Okay, anyway, so I'm just gonna start out by priming my eyes with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm just gonna put that on my lid and all the way up to my brow bone. Next, as a base, I'm gonna use my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the color Rust which is like the perfect Gryffindor color. And I'm just gonna swipe that all over my lid and be careful not to get it above your crease. So just spoo that out. Okay, and then for all of my shadows, I'm gonna use my Coastal Sense 88 Metal Mania palette. And the first color that I'm going to use is this lighter gold right there, which is kind of like by the edge of the palette. Ah! Avalanche. Oh, and I'm also going to use my flat shader brush that's a little bit smaller than a normal shader brush. Um, I don't really know what it's called or anything like that. And on one side, I'm just going to pack it on and apply it all over my lid. You want to really pat this color on or else you're going to get a lot of fallout. And these are very shimmery colors. Right. And then next, I'm going to take like the only red in the palette, which is this one right here. I'm going to flip the brush over and use the other side. Oh, crap. I forgot what side I use. Let me go with this one. And I'm going to put that on the outer third of my eye. And then flipping the brush over periodically, blend the two colors kind of together so it's a more seamless transition, you know, rather than just like gold, red, bam. So just, okay camera, can you like focus please? And then I'm gonna take this darker cold, gold color right, right there. Wait, I don't know what I'm pointing at, right there, which is close to the gold color that I just used. Okay, I'm, fail. Um, and with the same brush, I'm just gonna take that and put that on the middle of my eye, right kind of where the transition starts. And again, I love putting like shades on the middle of my eye because it really makes your eyes look fuller and bigger and all that jazz. See, I'm just going to put that there. If you need to blend the red and the gold a little more, you can do that. Okay, and then next, I'm going to use a different brush now. I'm going to take my dome round brush, whatever you want to call it, from e.l.f. And I'm going to take this matte brown right here, and I'm just going to put that on in my crease to kind of warm it up a little bit for the next shade that I'm going to be using. Alright, and then next I'm going to take this other burgundy, crimson, whatever color right here that is really close to rust that I used as a base. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Okay, wow. I took a lot. Okay, wow. So if you took a little bit more than you expected, just blend it out. 
Okay, then to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to take a highlight color. So I'm going to use this like yellowy color right here by the edge of the palette. It doesn't have a lot of shimmer in it because I don't really like full-on shimmery highlights. So I'm going to take this br bit brig, big, um, I don't know, wide brush, I guess, from Essence of Beauty. There you go. Oh, it's upside down. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm just going to take that color and put it under my brow bone. Um, and then I'm just going to take a little bit and put it in my inner corner to brighten that area up right there. And lastly, of course, the final step is mascara. So I'm just using my Lash Blast Fusion, um, which is my favorite. And I'm going to wiggle that up there. Oh, and I didn't use any eyeliner in this look because I felt the eyes are already like ba-bam in your face. If you want to, that's totally fine. You know, whatever floats your boat. If you're definitely an eyeliner gal, then go ahead. But that's it for the eyes, for this tutorial at least. Okay, so that was the whole eye look. Um, it's just basically crimson and red, which are the colors. And I just realized this, but I'm totally Gryffindored out. Like not on purpose at all because I have kind of like the gold nail on my toes. I'm wearing red nail polish. Ah, yeah, there. Um, I did not plan that. I totally promise. Um, so yeah. Oh, and then my shirt has red on it. What, what? Yeah, I probably shouldn't go out in public with this outfit on, but whatever. Um, anyway, yeah. And if you want to see more of these tutorials, like if you want me to do more houses, like Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, whatever, please comment below and tell me because I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these, on Harry Potter, like whatever, because that would really help me. And if, oh, if you have any requests too that are like totally not to do with any Harry Potter stuff, then comment below too. And if you want to just comment something random like toast, like, hey, what's up, toast? Um, you can totally do that because I would love that and it would really make my day. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys like the tutorial. And, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, which is what I just said. Uh, okay, bye! <laughs>